subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell icon. Thank you. President Buari Dom's Oshomoli backs Geadom as the acting national chairman. President Muhammad Buhari has backed Chief Victor Gyadon as the acting national chairman of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC. The senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Gabashe, will confirm this following inquiry from the state house reporters. She will said, the president has received very convincing advice on the position of the law as far as the situation in the party is concerned and has determined that the law is on the side of Victor Gerdon as the acting national chairman of all ruling all progressive congress because he will always act in accordance with the law the president will be attending the virtual meeting Gerdon called for tomorrow afternoon we urge the media to stop promoting manufactured controversies and to not give any further room for mischievous interpretations of the law on this matter. In addition to the President, the Gadon meeting will hopefully be attended by our governors and the leaders of the National Assembly. Gadon on Tuesday summoned a meeting of the National Executive Committee of the All Progressive Congress for Thursday, June 25, 2020. Gerdon, in a note issued on Tuesday, said the meeting to be held virtually had the consent of President Muhammad Buhari. But the APC National Vice Chairman South South, Prince Hilad Eta, who was appointed to act on behalf of Deputy National Chairman South, Senator Abiola Ajimobi, while reacting to the issue, described such neck meeting as unconstitutional. Scheming for the control of the APC by various camps has worsened the crisis rocking the ruling party. <laughs> Two top chieftains of the party recently claimed to be its acting chairman following the suspension of Comrade Adams Oshomole. The chieftains represent two key camps of the party who are out to grab the leadership position. The upholding of the suspension of Comrade Adams Oshomole by the Court of Appeal had created a vacuum in the leadership of the party. To fill the vacuum, the National Working Committee, NWC, had named a former governor of Oyo State, Abiola Ajimobi, as the acting national chairman of the party. However, the deputy national secretary of the party, Gadon, declared himself as the acting chairman of the party puncturing the announcement by the National Working Committee of the party. Why Ajimobi's camp has, has the backing of Aswaju, Gyadom party sources said is of the camp of some serving and former governors. The APC has been embroiled in a leadership crisis following an appeal court order that upheld the suspension of Comrade Adams Oshomole as the party's national chairman. Why Abiola Ajimobi, the former Oyo governor, was named acting chairman, Gyadon said he had taken over the leadership of the party. Members of the National Working Committee, NWC, loyal to the former Oyo, later announced that Eta Hilad, the vice chairman South South, would act on behalf of Ajimobi, who is unavoidably absent. Ajimobi, who is the APC deputy chairman South, is reportedly battling a health challenge, but Eta has described Yadom as an imposter. While citing court orders, the vice chairman said Gyadon is no longer a member of the National Working Committee and an APC member. Eta spoke while he received the report of Edo governorship primary election at the party's national secretariat in Abuja on Wednesday night. The membership of Victor Gyadom has been suspended by a competent judge court of jurisdiction in Potako this afternoon. Not only is he no longer a member of the National Working Committee, and today his membership has been suspended. He said while responding to questions from journalists on Gyadom's letter, it is not right for you to see 15 distinguished members of the National Working Committee 
and two met with us virtually and still calls a faction. This is the news coming from APC. <laughs> I must indeed say that APC is really in a great trouble. And as it stands, it seems as if APC is really, really losing out to PDP. Because in the last few days, APC have really lost some of its members. If you could recall how APC frustrated or frustrated or basically that he had to move to PDP. And the same applies to Abola Ajayi, who also defected to PDP. And now, instead of the Buari led administration to come and neutralize things, it's as if Buari ended up in taking sides with Gadom. Let's just watch out and see how the whole battle will end. Some Nigerians has also reacted to the, this APC crisis. Someone said, with this their action, they are only destroying the party instead of amending it. The another comment I have here said, President Buari is just watching things, deteriorating, confused set of people. Then one other comment said, he has no other options than to follow them, destroy the party completely. Then another person said, something is going to happen tomorrow. There is something terribly unknown about Edo State politics. One other comment said, what is the fate of Baba Oshomole? Is he actually, they are not even talking about him. Then again, another comment said, if this is true, then all progressive congress will help deal everyday katakata but i doubt the authenticity of worry supporting gadon then another comment i have here said the fire obaseke set up in apc is still burning and it will consume the party in a shortest time i can smell their backing into different parties again i can smell their breaking into different parties again it is indeed a very big pity then another person said, if, if PMB truly recognized him as the acting chairman, by now Tinibu and Co. should urgently prepare for plan B, which means the Northern are up to something against South. And that would be an interesting episode to watch because it is his, he is now clear that the Northern are using South to get power. Then again, another person said, if President Buari decides to be on the side of Gyadon, it then means APC do not have candidates for a do governorship election. Another person said, I just wonder how it will be resolved because the court has ruled on him that he's no longer the APC member. I guess this person is talking about Gyadon. Another person said, a divided cannot stand. This party is doomed. One other person said, until we see then, we will know if his presidency is about illegalities. Wahala deo. One other comment I have here said, at last, APC comes to an end. Some pro Oshomole governors is powerless now and might form a new party. Let's wait and see the outcome. Then one other comment said, the way PDP left with good luck, Jonathan, that is how APC will live with Buari. Another comment said, Stop deceiving Nigerians, General Buari is dead and buried, period. Then again, this one said, Frankly, I too would stop anyone, but thou art dust. I don't really understand what this guy is trying to say. Then this next person said, Oshomole, how market after dancing shaku shaku in campaign, laws of love. Then another person said, Gyadon was given legality by court and APC constitution and does not need Buari's appointment to function per se. All he needed was this, this support and here it comes. End of Oshomole. One other comment I have here said, they have told him who to pick. Does he even know what is happening in APC? The different factions and the different opposition parties then another comment i have here saying the controversy on who's the authentic acting national chairman of apc has been settled and that is the position of law the first order granted from court is the same appellate grade takes effect then the last comment i have here said 
the way pdp left good luck jonathan that is how apc will leave worry <laughs> that is a very strong message i promise to keep you updated with the latest happening in a do apc crisis or shomole obaseke crisis but please and please do it subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell icon to get notified whenever we make a new upload see you in my next video thank you